Hey, Web Institute, Stephen and Ryan here. Check this out. Okay, that was pretty cool. But wait, check this out. This is a basic hydraulic system. We see it in our everyday lives, whether it be in our car brakes or a simple door. Sometimes it's also used on a vessel for a steering gear or even just the cranes that are on them. They seem pretty simple, right? Or are they? Hydraulics have a few components that allow them to do this. First, there's the pump, which pushes a fluid that is an incompressible liquid through the pipe and into an actuator, which will do work on the desired object. By maintaining a closed system, we then have a constant pressure, which then allows for a constant force and therefore a constant work output. If we wanted to change this work, we could change the area ratio between the piston and the actuator, allowing the actuator to do a different amount of work. So what kind of fluids are in our hydraulic system? Well, gas, although a fluid, is compressible and causes us not to do work. So therefore, there is no gas in our hydraulic system. Water, on the other hand, oh, sorry. Water, on the other hand, is great for lower pressure systems. It's easily readily available, it's good environmentally friendly, and it can also get the job done any time. However, it can freeze in higher pressures and it also leaks and can corrode our pumps. So, instead, for higher pressures we use oil. Compared to water, it doesn't freeze as easily, it's less likely to leak, it also doesn't corrode your pumps as much. With better lubricative properties, it's better for higher pressure systems. However, it also doesn't have good environmental intentions, so we only use it when we need to. So now that we've talked about fluids, let's talk about actuators. Steven. Oh, hey. So this is a single acting linear hydraulic actuator. Fluid enters from this side here, in the inlet, and goes and applies a force on the piston over there. This causes the piston to move that way a distance equal to the work done by the pump divided by the force applied from the fluid. So um, single acting hydraulic actuators are good for moving something a linear distance, but um, there's a better way to do that. Follow me. This is a double acting linear hydraulic actuator. Same thing, fluid enters from this side, except on this uh, mechanism, fluid also exits from that side. This is more efficient than a single acting linear hydraulic actuator. Let's take a look at some other types of hydraulic actuators. This is a single acting rotary actuator. The inlet over here is where the fluid comes in from. It pushes on this flap over here that rotates, turning this shaft going in and out of the board here. The fluid then goes through the outlet over there. Now, we can make this more efficient. This is a double acting rotary actuator. It has two inlets for fluid and two outlets for fluid. It is more efficient at creating rotational motion than a single acting actuator. These are useful for um, turning steering gears and other rotational mechanisms. Hey, Professor. So, um, now that we looked at each individual component, let's put all the components together and look at the entire hydraulic system. The hydraulic oil starts in a holding tank over here. It then flows into a pump. Usually, it's a positive displacement rotary pump. The fluid then moves into what's called the DCV, directional control valve, that controls um, which way the fluid is flowing. In the first case, we'll look at the fluid flowing this way into the actuator, making it go one way. Fluid then exits this way and exits the DCV. Alternatively, the DCV can have the fluid inlet over there, making the, the actuator move in the opposite direction and outlet over here. Again, exiting the DCV and going back into the hydraulic oil holding tank. This is a closed system, so the oil stays inside the system at all times. No oil exits, um, except for leaks. So are hydraulics worth it? Yeah, I'd say so. They can handle a wider range of weights and also have a lot less components in them that weigh so much, like gears and pulleys, like a mechanical, electrical, or even a pneumatic system would have. If they weren't this good, I'd say they'd be so depressing. And as always, thanks for watching.
Can you not go for a soda can? Yeah. That's fine. Yes. You can't see Sussy Among Us. Oh, Sussy Among Us fell.